Hey, this is Jess from Dirty Yoga, and today I'm going to show you three stretches you can do for your hip and groin area. And trust me, this is a place that you want to keep flexible. To start, we're going to do a move to warm up the hips before moving into deeper stretches. Stand with your feet wider than your hips, and turn your toes out at about a 45 degree angle. Bend your knees and squat down. You can just rest your elbows on your thighs for a moment. Try to keep your butt down low, but your chest up high, so you don't want to be rounding and falling forward. Stretch one arm across the leg. Make sure that elbow and knee touch, so you're using that elbow to push that knee away. Bring your fingertips to the floor on the outside of your foot. Watch that other knee. Make sure it doesn't buckle in. Energetically, you need to keep pushing that knee away. Then just stretch your other arm up in the air and pause right here. So butt down low, chest up high, twist open as much as you can, and push those knees away from one another. Hold here for about 30, 45 seconds. Come back up through the center, keep the knees bent, and then make your way over to the other side. Stretch that arm across, cup your fingers in front of your toes, push that elbow and knee together, make sure that other knee doesn't buckle in. Sitting the butt down low, stretch your arm up and twist open. Pause here, again 30, 45 seconds, come back up to the center, come on up to stand, and we're ready to go into the stretches. Come to sit down on your butt. Once you're sitting down, cross your legs. There are three things to watch out for in this stretch. Number one, instead of drawing your feet in towards your butt, walk your feet away from your butt. Number two, try to make as much space between the feet as you can, so walk those feet as far away from one another. Number three, instead of letting your toes point, flex your feet. The more you flex your feet, the more you'll bring it out of the knees and into the hips. Bring your hands in front of your body, bring your elbows to your shins. Use your elbows to push your shins down and draw your knees down towards the floor. You'll also be using your elbows to move your chest forward. Start with the flat back, so lift your chest up as high as you can, move your chest forward, and then walk your hands forward and let your head drop. You'll stay for about a minute on this side. You'll come back up. I recommend stretching the legs out for a moment and then you'll recross the legs the other way and take that same stretch on the other side. This last stretch has two parts to it to get even deeper into your hips and your groin. Staying seated, you'll bring the bottoms of your feet together. Slide your feet away from your groin, so create kind of a diamond shape with your legs. Interlace your fingers over your toes and bring your elbows to the outside of your shins. Similar to that last stretch, sit as tall as you can for a moment, again, imagining that you're going to make your back flat. And then fold forward and let your head drop, using your elbows to move your chest as far forward as you can. Stay here for about 30 seconds. Come back up and then part two draw your feet in close towards your groin. Instead of interlacing your fingers over your toes, bring your thumbs to the bottom of your feet, opening your feet like a book. Draw your elbows down towards your groin, lift your chest up high, and then fold forward here. Using your elbows again kind of as leverage on the inner thighs to push the knees down and move the chest forward. Stay here, 30 seconds, longer if you can, and then come back up and stretch the legs out, bringing things back to where you started. I recommend you take the time to do these hip stretches regularly because we don't spend a lot of time on our hips and hip flexibility becomes very important as we grow older. Do these after a lower body workout or anytime, anywhere because that's dirty yoga.